Good morning, guys. It's like 11.30. Just waking up. Took meds. Going for a walk. I'm gonna ask, um... My mom and our friend to just go slowly. My friend has some crazy, crazy story to tell. She's trying to renovate, and there are people, like... Other people, like, not the people that are doing it. Other people are, like, reporting her, and they're, like... It's really weird. They're, like, trying to screw them over. I'll explain that later. Just, she has a new story about it, so we're gonna hear it. And that's really, really exciting because people are, like, out to get her. It's so crazy. Um, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Peanut butter and pack in 12 grams of protein and four awesome foods. New kind of protein from real food. Hey, guys. Today has been kind of long but really quick. Um, I saw my grandma gave her a shower, then we went, I took a nap accidentally at her house, then we went to the nursing home to see my other grandma, we came back, and now my mom is, like, doing stuff to, you know, be able to go to sleep, and I, st like, haven't started, I think it's, like, 10, and I haven't started, um, any of the things that I really need to start tonight, um, but, just wanted to say hi, and, um, I'll update you guys on little things I need to update you on soon. Hey you guys, so we finished watching the documentary. It's 11.49 p.m. I'm falling into my normal routine um, that I enjoy doing when I'm home. Um, so I like stay up with my parents and then whenever I, you know, need to leave, um, I will do my YouTube stuff on my laptop. I'll do anything else I really need to do on my laptop. I um, watch YouTube videos. Uh, usually every night I try to stretch before I go to sleep um, because I started coloring yesterday. You know, I have my coloring stuff up. So it's kind of like me time and it's kind of like time to like relax, but it's also time that I can, I feel like I can put um, like effort into to get some stuff done but right now I'm watching YouTube stuff and I'm actually gonna fix my eyebrows my mom did them last week so I just want to clean them up um, we saw my grandma I told you that we saw my other grandma I told you that um, yeah there's something I was just thinking about that I wanted to tell you guys and I don't remember what it was um, mm hmm I don't know what it was. Um, yeah. So, um, here are my eyebrows before. <laughs> um, not like I care about. Anyway, so, whatever I was thinking about it has just left me. Anyway, so I'm gonna fix my eyebrows up, and I'll see you guys soon. So I have the little strip on, and I put it on, like, unevenly and then I was making sure that it was getting into the crevice of my nose and then this whole thing happened so I'm just gonna wear it for a little bit longer and then take it off because I think I messed up maybe I didn't hopefully I didn't I guess we'll find out um, I want to show you the coloring page I'm working on So I just started doing this type of feather, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, so that's what it looks like so far, and um, I'm just going to go through. I know I have a few things I need to upload that I think are already all together, so I'm just going to do that stuff and make sure I'm up to date with you guys. <sighs> all set up. Uh, hold on. Yeah, 12 hours later, <laughs> 11.59. Damn. But I feel like I never show my pick anymore. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I forget it's even there. It's just kind of become routine. So, I'm not a big deal anymore. I don't mind having it. Sorry, I'm like literally covering myself with my pole. Um, I did want to talk to you guys. Um, but I don't remember the reason 
that I didn't tell you guys the other day, but um, if you look back at my videos, I have a um, vlog I put out on the 20th of May where I went to Lush, and I didn't mention this at all. I was going to talk about it the next day, and I have forgotten until now, but they actually gave me something on the house because um, I explained, like, hey, when I was working, um, no, I was just mentioning it. I wasn't, like, I wasn't asking for anything, but um, I said that when I was working, I would come in and I would get um, bath bombs and stuff. So once a week, every week, I would use a bath bomb to treat myself. And um, I had to stop doing that when I stopped working because I didn't have the money, obviously, to spend on a $7 bath bomb a week. Um, and so they were trying to get me, um, they were trying to get me updated with like the products that they have and the bath bombs and the oils and stuff. Um, so they're helping me a lot and I was like, oh, you know, like I am going to be coming back, you know, I'm going to be starting to actually work soon and I'll be back and I want to start doing it again. And I was like, I'm, I just can't do it right now, but I'm coming back. I'm definitely coming back. And they were just so sweet. I talked to two people about it. And I was like, but you know, like, I had to stop working. My health really has deteriorated in the past, like, year, so I, I haven't had money. And I don't like playing that card, like, the I'm sick, I can't afford anything card. I don't, I, I don't want to bring that type of attention to me. I don't know. I don't ever really like, um bring it up with random people is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, but I told this guy and this girl about it that were helping me and um, they were asking, we were just looking at the bath oils and figuring out, they came up with like a lot of new bath oils so we were talking, to, talking about those and everything and they were like, oh did you find something that was your favorite? And I was looking around and I was like, oh you know, I'm not sure this one is really great. I don't know. I was just saying that I really liked all of them, basically. So what ended up happening was the guy took a bath oil, put it in a bag, and handed it to me and said, it's on the house. Um, you know, I mentioned that I have a pick line, that it's, you know, like, I can, um, like, I, it's easier for me to take baths because of standing up in the shower, but then you know, with the baths, I have to have my, heart, my arm over the edge, but I really like taking them because I really like doing Epsom salt. But um, I never I never talk about things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so they said, don't worry about it. Here's a bath oil and it's on the house. And whenever you are well enough to come back and you know start buying from us, obviously we're gonna be here. And so uh, I got a bath oil. Um, I don't remember the name. I'll look it up. And before I close out the vlog, I'll um, tell you guys what it is. But this is what it looks like. And it just feels very warm, um, but fresh, kind of citrusy, but not like tangy citrusy. It's really nice. <sighs> it's really nice. <laughs> so they gave this to me for free and I was just like, I was so grateful. Um, so happy about it. So I, I don't like doing stuff like that, but they were just so kind about it and I really appreciated it. Um, and now I have a bath oil I can try. I also wanted to tell you guys I actually um, got texted to um, from my friend that is the manager over at the Bath and Body Works I'm working at now, and um, because they have a semi-annual sale that they have every, uh, well, twice a year, January and June, um, they need a lot of people, like, extra to go in and help prep stuff, and it's this huge deal with the company, it's really kind of annoying to be honest, but but it is a great thing for their sales, for them financially, and for like the people that are coming in and buying things because you can get a shower gel that's usually $12.50 for like $3. So it's really, really good for the customer and it's really, really good for the company. It's just kind of a pain to, to do when you're working, you know, and 
like the actual store um so she texted me and I told her you know like any extra shifts I don't want to do sales um, but I said any extra shifts for like floor sets which is revamping the store or something that needs to be you know that I don't have to go in in uniform and I can just do my own thing and not have to worry about talking to people um, I told her just text me whenever and I'll let you know if I can make it or not so she texted me today and said um, that she needs a few shifts for next week it would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday and Sunday. And so the Tuesday and Wednesday would be just four hours, which might end up being six, which is fine. And then Saturday and Sunday, it would be um, 6 p.m. Um, to whenever, and on Sunday it would be 6 p.m. To, to whenever, which might mean 6 p.m. to 12. Um, it might be 6 p.m. to 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not sure. Um, but I told her, give me all of them and I said I'll let you know if anything changes but put me down for all of them so I'm going to have four days next week I'm going to be working and I will just make sure I have my pain medication because this is going to be rough I'll just have to really kind of safeguard myself to, to go but you know I think I'm going to close the vlog out here um, and Tomorrow, I think I'm going to be working on a care package one of my good friends on here um, is going to be getting, so I'll release information about that until she, like, later after she gets it, so I'm excited for that. Um, and that's it, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys all for watching, and thank you for the support, especially in the more recent videos, um, and the whole, like, honesty about negativity thing. I really appreciate um, the love and support you guys give me. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.